In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As an example, I have taken here the digital marketing strategy. So here I've added the title at the center of the slide and when I click, it will come a circle and then the first point will come, which is point A, attract. As you can see here, I've given some bright colors at the borders and a light effect at the background. And this side you can see here, I've given the, the shadow effect. And on my next click, it will come the option B, which is engage. Then the option C, convert. And then the option D, inspired. Apart from this, I have created few more slides with slight variation. If you see, this is the second slide. I have just given some color combinations here. This is the another slide where I have used one single color. And there is one more slide which I have used the circle at the background. So as per your requirement, you can choose which slide you need. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color. In this case, I have taken the indigo color. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the second one, which is the rectangle rounded corners. Hold the shift key and draw the rectangle, maybe this much size. We can see here, or I can make it maybe 2.65, the height and width. and just bring it here go to view enable the guides and i'm going to just bring this one here and go to format shape outline you can give for the time being a white color and shape fill you can use some dark color here you can see here i'm going to use a dark purple then i'm going to cut this one this particular shape for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to make it somewhat transparent and then just rotate it with the arrow and i'm going to cut maybe this much part we can see here this much part i'm going to cut it for that select the rectangle first and then the this one by holding the shift key then go to merge shape and you can click on subtract so you end up getting this shape now i'm going to change the color of this so go to line select the gradient fill and i'm going to keep only two stops the first stop i'm going to select go to more colors and any color of your choice you can choose for example i'm going to select this purple and i'm going to choose a light color one more you can see here let me just select this pink so you can see here you end up getting like this and moreover uh, if you want to give some shadow effect or some light effect also you can do it for that i'm going to select this press ctrl d go to format i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select white then go to effects you can see the soft edges increase the size you end up getting like this and you can just reduce the transparency effect also if you want something like this it looks and then bring this here if you want increase the size a little bit and send this to back so you can see here you end up getting like this if you want you can make it more lighter by increasing the transparency and the similarly if you want here a shadow effect i'm going to press ctrl d of this and going to change the color to black and then i'm just going to put it here you can see here again send this to back so you've got the light effect here and the shadow effect now i'm going to select all these three objects press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and go to format rotate you can just rotate to flip horizontal add here give equal spacing and then press ctrl d add here again go to rotate i'm going to say flip vertical you can see here and again give equal spacing and again press ctrl d go to rotate and i'm just going to rotate flip horizontal you can see here you got the basic shape ready. Now you can change the color of this 
each boxes again you can just go to line and select any color for example let me just go to more color i'm going to use maybe yellow along with the orange you can see here go to more colors and i'm going to select orange and then i'm going to select this box again go here to gradient fill select the first one go to more colors and maybe i'm going to choose this color and then i'm going to select this color you can see here and then this is the fourth one i'm going to select maybe a blue you can see here along with a light blue color you can see here i've got these colors now make sure that all are aligned for example let me just select these two you can see it is not aligned go to format align i can just say align right and make sure this is also aligned properly and again align at the top and align at the bottom also let me just go to view remove the guides and go to insert shapes i'm going to select a oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here again align center align middle shape outline make it maybe gray or a green color or let me just make it a blue color and shape fill i'm going to select no fill here so you can see here you got this one now it's time to add the options go to insert shapes and select the rectangle again draw the small rectangle here you can see here and you can give the same color or of the background color you can give shape outline make it no outline then go to effects then under 3d format you can select maybe this one which is soft round you can see here you end up getting like this and you can give some lighting effect whatever the lighting effect which you feel better you can just give that lighting effect here so it looks something like this now once this is done i'm just going to type either one two three four or a b c d i'm just going to say for example a white font oswald i'm going to select or any color of your or any font of your choice and make it a here let me just reduce the size a little bit and i'm going to change the font color to same which i've used for the outline just select both of these press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and add for b here ctrl d this is for c you can add it here or here wherever you want and this is for d so let me just change this one to B, C and D. After that you can add some detail text. Go to insert text one, add your detail text here. Bring it here, make it a light color. And again, whichever font you like, you can add it. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Add this one here. Again, Ctrl D. I'm just going to add this here. Again, Ctrl D. You can add it here. Or I can make this one up. For example, this both, I'm going to make it up. This is also one way of doing. And then you can add your text here at the bottom. You can see here. So you can see here our design is ready. And if you want, you can give a small animation effect to this. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.